to read story number 11 and explain it for us today. Anybody available? I can go. Okay, thank you, Estefania. Go ahead. 11, on vanity. Vanity is the greatest cause of failure. As we rise in status and come into greater wealth, we begin to look down on others. Puffed with vanity, we see nothing wrong with our behavior. But the stock of rice with the most fruit bows the lowest. Any rise in status or increase in wealth must be accompanied by greater humility. We must become like stocks of rice. It cannot be said too often. Don't be vain. Hmm. I mean, um, I think this was pretty straightforward in the lesson that it's sharing. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's... Uh, I think with what it's sharing specifically, uh, when the story... Um, I think I want to highlight this phrase, any rise in status or increase in wealth must be accompanied by greater humility because it, it really does remind me of um, even of Shakyamuni Buddha and, and how we've heard like um, keeping with spirit, keeping with our true nature is so out of this uh, earthly world and our des those earthly desires and what makes us human um, that we must be careful when we're navigating such spaces or levels uh, within our human experience uh, especially with wealth and, and status how that can distort our perception not only of ourselves, but of, of how we enter the world. And to realize that this only pulls us farther away from true faith and feeling joy for our journey. Um, and so I, I, do, I do believe that with any rise in status or wealth, I think it's... And we should check that even more so on a daily basis of how we enter the world, how we offer um, our presence and our intentions in our relationships with others as well, with people not only around us, but from a collective level, animals, the earth. Because... Um, I mean, just like perceptions, right? All of that is, it's passing. It's like a thought. It can rise at any moment and just how it arose, it can also dissipate. Um, but what truly remains through the movements and the shifts, I think, Pita, you had, maybe you had explained this a while ago when I joined the meetup, that just how any emotion or feeling is, is almost like the clouds rolling through the sky, how they come into existence and then they're able to slowly you know, um, dissipate into, into the sky. Similar with these distortions of perception of you know, who we can become or how we can over-identify with those um, those parts of ourselves or what whatever labels are given to us by others <laughs> and how we um, I guess how we decide to take that on is also part of our work yeah uh, I'm open to any comments or feedback okay very good um... Yeah, thank you, Estefania. 
it's so important to look at the spaces where our desires take us here and there, how to navigate. And yeah, that's the human nature. And then the fleeting aspect of life. How oh, nothing really remains. Everything is in constant flux. If so, then can we really hold on to anything that is shifting and moving and then be proud of it and look down on others? Very good. Uh, we still have four minutes. Anybody else wants to also share um, your understanding of the story? Yeah, it's a good chance to take the challenge to voice our thoughts. Um, yeah. It's, we kind of polish our mind. <laughs> OK, Sam, go ahead. Uh, I see it the way that rice doesn't boil because it just wants you boil because it has any willing to do this. It's happened naturally because of the weight of the richness it's gained. So the same humans that get acquire some wealth, it's brought to people in humility, not just because uh, he does it like, oh, you know, I, it's a good etiquette. It does it because that wealth is actually what makes him bow. He acquires something valuable, not money, not status, but something that actually come with that, that make him understand that humility is the right thing to do. If he understand his position in society more precise, like more precisely. It, 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 it's not the wealth that make him uh, to bow. The, the, the reason he got the wealth make him bow is that he got the wealth because of his good characters. He got status because of his good character. And he not he acquired the wealth, he acquired a good character. I'm not sure I try explain it right, but wealth is just a sign of the beauty, but beauty is inside of this person. It, it, it's not applied to every rich person in the world, but it's applied to some. So like there is rich people in the world who donate money to charities anonymously without making a big deal out of it. They build art galleries and contribute to schools without really telling anyone. And I think that's the greatest humility. It's just because they're good pe people. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, Stan. You got a lot of support here too. Thank you also, Stefania. Yeah, so it's all thanks to something within the good character that gets polished thanks to the suffering or challenges brought upon from different directions um, by different people. And all the more we become grateful, so we want to give back. Uh, that's the beautiful character that begins to shine. Yeah, so there's nothing really we can hold on to forever that we can be proud of. But it's that beautiful character inside that anyone can have. So uh, we're not really the we can't claim ownership of it. Yeah, there is no ownership. Thank you very much. Good job, everyone, uh, to dedicate this time for our mental health and spiritual growth. Thank you, Estefania and Stan, for taking up the challenge. And I invite uh, all of us to meditate on these concepts and share with our loved ones, our people around us, so that light can spread in our society and more people begin to see the value of how they are being supported to be wherever they're at. So they stop taking that kind of prideful attitude. Good job and have a beautiful evening. We will have the Right View Lab at 8 p.m. Pacific time. Okay, bye. Bye, thank you.